Hello. Uh, in this video, uh, we will check uh, Golang's uh, web framework called Pigo. And in this particular video, I will um, I will show how you can start a new project uh, using Pigo uh, with two different ways. Um, first way will be um, like bootstrapping project from from zero and adding all the files yourself. Uh, and second one, uh, which is more preferred way by, by the framework itself, is to use um, uh, B uh, command line tool. Um, and then generate a new project. We will quickly go through some of the commands, uh, not all of them, but some of them. Uh, and then see what, what's, what's the structure in, in first and second option. Uh, with this video, there is also uh, this uh, page where you can find all the tools, all the scripts, uh, and also uh, uh, try it uh, yourself uh, in an interactive window. So this is this is source code that I will use uh, in this video. Um, so let's start with a step one, with the first option. Uh, this, uh, in terms of structure, every step will be in a separate folder and each folder is a new Go project. So with its own mod file, some file and main.co file. So each, each of these folders are different uh, Go projects. And we will start with the first one, step one. Uh, I have very simple structure. I have a mod file, some file. This, this is a compiled version and my source code. Uh, source code, uh, let me show it to you. Um, it starts with step one and I will zoom a bit. Um, so in step one, um, I have a main.co file, uh, which is my entry point to the application. Um, and uh, what I do, I, um, I name a package, I import um, framework, uh, which is Bigo in, in our case. I um, by the uh, uh, by the rules of the uh, framework, you need to introduce uh, a new type. Uh, so it's MVC based framework. So you need to have a controller. So this is my uh, uh, main controller. Uh, it embeds a Bigos controller. Uh, uh, and what we do on, on this type, uh, we introduce a new method, uh, get method, uh, uh, which will write uh, to the context uh, string, hello world in our case. Uh, in, in this particular video, I am not diving into the, each of these elements. Uh, we will go through them in the next parts. Uh, but basically, I introduce this method. And then in my entry point to the application, uh, I use Bigo router to define a new path, a new router. Uh, yeah, in this case, it's a, it's a root. And then give it my controller, uh, where I have this only method. And this is executes application. So let me also run it here. So what I need to do, uh, go run uh, main.co. Uh, this will um, execute application, of course. Uh, and then I go to the website and then I type this localhost um, and my port and th this will um, set up um, a new uh, web service, uh, access new se uh, service, uh, which ex uh, runs here. And by the way, you can also do it here. Uh, so if you want to execute step one, um, you need to go to this file. Um, uh, this is on the same page. Um, and uh, here you need to type, it, it's ex well, it's, uh, it is also in a uh, readme file, so if you want to see. Um, so you need to have this command uh, in this file. Um, so this way you can execute each step. So I will execute step one. And then this will do the same, but on the browser. So you can try it um, as well. Uh, so this is very like um, basic step. And now let's move to the step two uh, and use uh, their uh, command line tool uh, to create a new project. Uh, for this, um, I, I, so uh, you see it's still executing. It will download all the files and etc. Uh, for now, let's move on. 
So for for using their CLI tool, um, uh, you need this uh, this um, go get. Uh, this will in, uh, install B uh, CLI tool. I already did it, um, so I use this command. Uh, so this will install it, and uh, once you've done it, uh, you can go to the B. Um, if you type on the command's name, you will see help window. Uh, you can also do B version, for example. Uh, but to start a new project, what you need to do, uh, you go to the directory where you want this project. Uh, in my case, it was this folder, um, and I can also show the content. So it needs to be root of the directory where you want to have this project. And then, then uh, you type uh, B, uh, um, find the exact command that I used. Uh, yeah, um, so be new, and then, then you need to uh, provide a project name. And this project name will be used as a folder name as well. So as you can see, I execute this command, be new step two. And this way I have uh, this folder uh, which is root of, uh, it, it, it will add uh, as a subfolder uh, in your root directory. And then you need to go into this folder uh, and this is your project. Uh, I, all, I have already it uh, in, in this uh, window. So, and when you use this CLI tool uh, to generate a project, uh, it, will, uh, uh, it will already have some predefined structure uh, and of course you have entry point main.co um, and you can see it, it is, uh, it, of course it's similar to the, what we did in a previous one. So you need to execute and etc. cetera. Um, you need to use this uh, to run the project and, and et cetera. But uh, also this has like, if you have controllers, it will be in controllers folder. Uh, you have models. We have views, uh, as I said, it's MVC uh, based uh, framework and also routers uh, where you can set um, um, your routes. So let me uh, start this one. And to start it, you can also use B. Uh, let me first uh, open it. So you can also use this command. Uh, in case if you need help with any of these commands, you can use B help. And for example, let's use run. If, let's see if you have, um, and, and then I will do B um, run. So this will execute our project. Um, and then you can go uh, to the browser. Uh, so this uh, this is default template that they have. Uh, and you can see uh, content of this template here. Uh, it's a view file. And this is where you get it. Um, I don't have uh, any um, extension for CPL. That's why we see um, uh, uh, pure text. Let me quickly um, uh, set HTML. Okay. Um, yeah, and this is HTML part. Uh, there is like, uh, since it's templating language uh, or, and, and there's a template engine, uh, you see this kind of stuff like, uh, uh, so we receive it from source code and we put it in, in a template. And the place where we set these uh, uh, variables is in controller. Um, <clears throat> so uh, since, uh, again, we have MVC structure, we st we, this is our entry point, then we have router, which sets uh, uh, for the root pass uh, controller, which is main controller. And in main controller, as you can see, we set some data, some variables, and then we pass it to our template. And we also set the tem name of the template that we're gonna use. And this is a, um, this is a, a minimal configuration um, uh, to show the template, to set some variables. And after this, uh, be a, a framework uh, will render this file, uh, set all your variables, and as a result, you will see um, data that you set. 
uh, we can play a bit we can add something else for example let's say uh, uh, let's say we change website to the hello B um, and um, and then we go back to the browser yeah and you can see um, uh, in case of B, uh, you don't have need to, once you change source code, you don't need to um, reload. Uh, it will automatically hot reload the source code and then compile and you, you will see a result. There is also nice st statistics like uh, how long it took uh, to render and etc. So it's nice to have. Oh. <clears throat> As I said, uh, in this one, it's just a quick start. Uh, uh, in the next one, we will dive in a bit more details, um, check the structure, and then see uh, what's controller, and then how you can extend it by yourself. Uh, but in this one, uh, you saw two ways of uh, adding new project in Bigo. Uh, and again, uh, you can try uh, it by yourself on, on this window. So uh, you can see we have uh, step one already executed. So this is a result for our step one. I can do the same uh, if I stop and change it to step two. Uh, now I can execute the second part um, um, uh, of this tutorial. And you can also see it here in, in a live mode. So uh, you can also try uh, use this uh, instead of your local, uh, uh, local machine. Uh, and also um, uh, during the tutorial, I will uh, keep these folders and then this uh, repository up to date. Uh, in case you want to access rep repository itself, um, this is um, on uh, GitHub. So um, GitHub, go to logger, and this is the repository. Uh, so you can fork it and then, and then work um, and then make some changes. And by the way, if you want to make changes here, uh, uh, REPL, uh, the tool I am using for this, will automatically fork uh, this repository. Uh, and I think uh, step two is already executed here. So if I click refresh, um, and we should see. Yep, uh, I need more plays. So this is a, a result um, of, of step two. Uh, 